Welcome back again to another video, MTG and D&D Reveals and Reviews. We're going to be checking out a few booster packs. Uh, we've got a couple of set boosters, and we've got just a draft booster. Going to be checking those out, looking at those here in just a second, and reveal on those. Of course, I've got my MTG shirt on. I'll make sure I have the link in the bio for that, where you can purchase one. And make sure you click the like button, get those likes in there, make sure we have that in there. Get those likes. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, please. We want to need subscribers. If we get to 150 subscribers, we will be giving away some things. We've got some different deck boosters. I'm sorry, deck boxes and a few other things that we could give away. But we need to get to 150 subscribers. So make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the notification button after you do that so you do not miss any of the videos. And, of course, make sure you share the video. It's how more people are going to find out about the channel and get to know about it, learn about it. So do that. The more subscribers we have, the more things we can do, more videos we can post, more things we can show you and go through more exciting things we can check out. So make sure you do that for us. All right, cool. We're gonna jump into these things here tonight. We're gonna start with the uh, Dungeons and Dragons draft booster here. Boulders, uh, Battle for Boulders Gate. Of course, I love Dungeons and Dragons. I love Magic the Gathering. So you can't really go any better than a booster deck for that. If I can get them open. I know what it is with some of these booster packs that are super hard to get open, but we got it open. Always gonna win there. Let's pop this thing and see what we have got. Right off the bat, we got Bane's Invoker, a human cleric we got there. Young Red Dragon, a dragon creature with some different options. Excited about that. Create a treasure, treasure token. Then exile this card. You may cast the creature later from exile. That's its instance for its adventure. It's flying, it's a red dragon. Um, I'm oh, sorry, red, young red dragon can't block, okay? So it's not allowed to block, but really a cool creature there. Cloakwood Swarm Keeper, an elf ranger card there. Pretty cool looking. Uh, gathered Swarm, whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Cloakwood Swarm Keeper. We've got Winter Eldrin. We've got Fairy Elf Wizard Creature. I'm not going to go through all these. Just going to pick out on a couple of them. Chain Devil Creature, a Devil Creature. Not crazy about Devil Creatures or Demon Creatures, but that's what we got there. Goliath Paladin, a Giant Knight. Pretty uh, big looking and beastly looking. Vigilance, when Goliath Paladin enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. Cool. Uh, Decanter of Endless Water, an artifact there. What does that one do? You have no maximum hand size and add one mana of any color. Oh, that is pretty cool, actually. Uh, summon Undead, a sorcery card. Steadfast Unicorn, a unicorn card, of course. Uh, Wayfarer's Bobble. Bobble, I think somebody said that. A little bobble card there, an artifact type. We got Heap Gate, a land card. Maconid Spore Tender, a little fungus creature. Those are fun little creatures in Dungeons and Dragons. Lantern of Revealing, an artifact. Blood Boil Sorcerer, a human shaman card. Cast down an instant. Giant uh, ink, ink Hedge, I think it's said. It's an insect creature. Looks pretty cool. Uh, Kateria, Caller of the Small, an Orc Ranger legendary creature. She's actually pretty cool looking there. Uh, not high price. Trample, whenever Kateria, Caller of the Small, deals combat damage to a player. For each token you control... Create a 1-1 one, one white rabbit creature token. So, create some tokens there. Uh, legendary enchantment, a background agent of the Shadow Thieves. It's a pretty cool one. We've got Ancient Brass Dragon. Ancient Brass Dragon. That is awesome. That is a mythic card right there. That is a super cool one. Definitely cool in a dragon deck. Roving, rove, yeah, Roving Harper, an elf scout. And you got that right there. And then we've got initiative. Whenever one or more creatures a player controls deal combat damage to you, that player takes the initiative. Whenever you take the initiative and at the beginning of your upkeep, uh, venture into the Undercity. If you're in a dungeon, advance to the next room. If you're not, enter Undercity. And you can take the initiative even if you already have it. So pretty cool initiative card there. We've got the Undercity card so pretty cool i like it awesome i love the dragons in there some really cool creatures uh the artifacts in there seem like they're really super cool so excited about that we're now going to check out a dominaria 
set booster pack. So set boosters, you get a few less cards. Uh, your regular draft pack, you're going to get about 15 cards. Uh, your set boosters, you're usually going to get about 12 to 13 cards there. Let's see if that's what they both said. I'm sorry, draft pack actually gives you 20. I apologize. Uh, 12 cards, though, on a set booster pack. So not as many. They usually cost a little more. But you get a lot better chance for rares, mythics, those kind of things. And so I like them because part of the thing I like about Magic the Gathering is the collectability. And so I enjoy that. We do have a dragon token right off the bat there on the top. Uh, we have got a... It's like a art card. Pretty cool. We've got a basic land in a different color. Lightning Strike, an instant. Uh, Benelash, Faith Bender, a human cleric card. Impede Momentum. Thrall, uh, I'm sorry, Thrill of Possibility, an instant card. Gar Garna, Blood Fist of Keld, legendary creature, human berserker. Pretty cool looking card there. Whenever... Another creature you control dies. Draw a card if it was attacking. Otherwise, Garner Blood Fist of Kelda deals one damage to each opponent. That's a, really a pretty cool card. I like that one. Uh, Love Song of Night and Day, an enchantment saga card. Balmor Battle Mage Captain, a bird wizard. Battle Wing Mystic, another bird wizard. Elas Il Cor Sadis Sadistic. Pilgrim, a Fraxian Core Cleric. So he's got Death Touch. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Whenever another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. So really, that's a pretty cool card, too. We've got Keldon Flame Sa Sage, a human shaman, which is a rare card. And then we got Relic of Legends, an artifact. Add one man of any color. Tap an untapped legendary creature you control. Add one man of any color. So, really cool for building up your mana supply. If you're trying to do like a mana ramp type of deck, pretty cool type of card. All right. One more set booster pack here. Excited to check this one out. Of course, these are uh, all Dominaria. That's what we're checking out here. So, we've got our art card, which is really pretty cool looking. Of course, we got a basic land. I always put one of those in there. On the back, we've got our token. It is a uh, soldier token. All right. We got Fire Nato, a sorcery card. Goblin Picker card, which is a goblin, of course. Colossal Growth, which is an instant. Splatter Goblin, a Phyrexian Goblin there. Walking Bulwark, a Golem. We've got uh, Radha Coalition Warlord. I don't know if I'm saying that right. He's an Elf Warrior Legendary Creature. He has Domain. Whenever Radha Coalition Warlord becomes tapped, another target creature you control gets a plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of basic land types among lands you control. Uh, so pretty cool. Just to be able to play them, you got to have at least two different land types. So that'd be a plus two, plus two, which wouldn't be too awful bad there uh, to check out. We've got an instant war host, war host frenzy. We've got Knight of Dust Shadows, a human knight creature. We've got Rona, Sheldred's Faithful, a legendary creature. I think I've got one of her, but it's just a different artwork. It's pretty cool. Urza Assemble the Titans, an enchantment saga, which is a rare card, and a contained aquifer, a land island swamp card. So, pretty cool cards. Not bad at all, I would say, for a quick pick of just three quick booster packs. Not bad. Hope you like that. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Hey, make sure you share the video with people so people find out about the channel. Let's get those subscribers, get those likes in there. That way we can start giving away some stuff. I got stuff to give away, but I've got to get more subscribers before I start doing that stuff. So let's get those subscribes in there. Have a great evening.